We know Henry Ruggs was going 156 miles per hour before the fatal crash, but now we have video of what looks like the victim's Toyota with Ruggs Corvette speeding after it. And he is flying. I was told right about two and a half seconds after he passes by, you hear screeching and then a, a loud oh, bang. Wow. So he's going at 156 and slams on the brakes when he clearly sees the Toyota and it's too late. Authorities say Ruggs hit the victim's car at 127 miles per hour. The woman's name was uh, Tina Tintorch and her family, here's what they had to say. So they said, Tina's tragic loss has devastated her family beyond a grief they could ever comprehend. She was the light of her parents' life. She loved her three-year-old golden retriever, Max, who passed alongside her Tuesday morning. It's so tragic. And now Ruggs could get more than 40 years in prison. What if there's another person that same night who was going 156 miles an hour drunk and he didn't hit anybody by luck? That guy gets a DUI and probably probation. What's the real difference between the two other than bad luck? Our system of punishment is outcome dependent and then for better or for worse. But I, I'm asking is that a smart way of creating punishment? And then you're gonna have incredibly harsh penalties for what are considered minor crimes. They're now. considered minor crimes, but are they minor crimes? What if everybody got five years? Nobody would drive drunk. Right. Because nobody wants to get five years in prison. Definitely something to think about.